Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another epic, epic video for you guys. So today what we got is a crazy glitch. Now this glitch has kind of taken over the top of ladder. I know a lot of people don't know it, but at the very, very top of ladder, it's being used by a lot of like beta players, a lot of like really high IQ competitive players. And it's absolutely crazy. Now it is very hard to pull off, but you guys need to see what is happening in this video. So with that being said, we're going to hop into some games and we're going to show you guys this insane sprout glitch that literally breaks the game so that being said let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what it is all right so here we go into the first game now we're facing another sprout i don't think they know about the strat though because we are at fairly low trophies our highest is kind of it's like 550 i think now sprout is really good on this map regardless of this glitch um so you guys are gonna see what it is i need to be able to get my super first against triple thrower that might be a little bit difficult actually never mind I'm able to get it so we can walk back to my siege we're gonna stand right in the ike gonna super right here and you guys can see the ike moves a direction now what does that do exactly so the reason that the that the uh that your zone is outlined like it is is because of the position that your ike is in so it's shooting people that are in that zone but because you're now moving your ike you're now changing up what the zone for the ike to hit is so we're going to continue moving it and trying to get it all the way to the corner so again you got to stand right in it push it and there you go you guys can see we've moved it over even more so now people are going to be hit even if they're standing like right over here it's going to be completely switched up and it's going to be crazy these guys are going to have no clue what's happening it's insane so we're going to move forward here we're going to try and get another super now we have two very defensive brawlers on our team we're playing with a frank and we're playing as well with a um with a ape it so what the what the goal is pretty much is to try and get one of the first two bots do a little bit of damage and then by the time you end the game you want to get this ike to the very very end or the very very corner i should say of the map and see what we can do now this bro or not the sprout sorry this tick is kind of like picking up on what's going on over here he's kind of taking a peek why is this bro keep going back and not using any of his supers on us so hopefully steve and fudge can do a little bit of damage here um this is what sprouts like normally good for on the map just putting out that block which means your bot has to go all the way around which is actually really really good don't get me wrong but this strat is just a little bit better so you guys can see we're able to do a good amount of damage so now we're gonna have to continue moving this all the way to the corner let's see what we can do gonna move it even more that was a really good move now sometimes it moves a lot sometimes it moves a little i'm not too sure if we can exactly control how much it moves um but i am still working out to find that out so let's see if we can get three shots on the sprout. There we go. We're able to get another one. We're going to move this guy over a little bit more. Now, this should probably be our final move because I don't think I'm going to get super anymore. And what we're going to do is kind of put like a defensive wall down. So let's figure out what's going on. This bot's moving forward here. He's going to make a really big trip to the left. And this barley might be shot by the Ike. Yeah, the barley is going to be shot way out wide on the left. We're going to take a shot off. We're going to be able to hit him. Trying to get that kill. There we go. As you guys can see, it takes a lot of time for that bot to get all the way over to the left. We didn't even finish what we wanted to do. We didn't get the final strat down, but we're still able to do a lot and get that W. So that's going to be our first When You guys see this is absolutely crazy. It's literally this ginormous glitch in the game. So that being said, let's hop into the second game and let's get it going again. Okay, so here we hop into the next game. Now, we're not facing triple thrower, so we should be able to get more supers this game and move it over even more. The goal is to try and get it into a corner, so by the time they attack you and your uh, your Ike is in the corner, you can literally just put a, uh, a sprout super over, over top of it, and they won't be able to touch it at all. So again, let's try and move it. Now, sometimes you spend the entire game... Ooh. Sometimes you spend the entire game trying to move your Ike, and then it ends up you just get the final bot, and it doesn't really matter. But honestly, that's fine. It doesn't matter too much about if you get it because you are just putting yourself in a position to win the game. So either you get the final bot and you win or you don't and you defend. So we're going to try moving it over. Two really good moves to start off the game. You guys can see this guy's going to have to go a lot more far back and a lot more to the right. So he's not going to be able to do that much damage. Um, let's see. Able to defend pretty well so far. There we go. Really good defense. And they have to come really, really far in in order to hit it, which means obviously they're... <laughs> They're not going to be able to do anything. Now, let's see what this pe what this penny does. Because I don't think that's going to be able to, re to reach our Ike. So, even plays like this, it's not even going to matter. Because it can't even reach our Ike. Pretty crazy, if you ask me. So, again, we're going to try and hit that mic. We're going to get our super. Let's move this guy over. Let's move it up. All right. I guess we're going to move it over there. Um, so, we got pretty good strat going right now. So, I think I'm just going to put it down a little bit on the right. I'm not going to move it all the way over since it's already down. We might waste a couple shots moving it up. So we're just going to try and put it down more. 
You guys can see the bot's in the zone right now and it's not hitting. So it has to come all the way in. So we're just going to put this little wall. This bot literally can't do anything. It's going to have to circle all the way around. And now literally all we have to do is win this final bot. There's nothing that they can do. A penny turret on the left side isn't going to do anything, which is what I think this penny is trying to do over here. It's going to put a penny turret down, but it literally can't do any damage because it can't reach it. So we're going to be able to get that kill. Let's go for this guy over here. Oh, we're going to go down, but I think we're fine as long as Steve can just stand there and clutch it up. But again, you guys see the guys, they got two defense, but because our Ike is all the way in the back, they're not able to do anything. So we're going to be able to get this final bot. And obviously we're going to be able to do 4% and win the game. In fact, I might be able just to walk up now and win the game for us. Just going to chuck some shots. There we go. Already 5%. We've already won the game. But anyways, that is the strat. It's really crazy. Now, let me say this also does work in heist. It works wherever there's a safe. So that's something to also think about. Um, for heist, it's not that big of a deal though. You don't normally play Sprout in heist. And the advantage of moving your Ike here is that it fires and it shoots them at weird angles. Or you can go farther back and it's going to shoot them a lot more. Um, but that's not really the advantage you gain in heist, obviously, because your, your safe doesn't shoot. It kind of just stands there. So I wouldn't really recommend doing this in heist. You're kind of just wasting a brawler and wasting a super. But with that being said, again, let's hop into the game and let's continue showing you guys this trick. So going in here, we're facing another sprout, which is kind of scary. Uh, because maybe they know the strat too. We're just going to walk up and try and get our supers. We're able to get one super there. We're going to be able to hit this Carl. And there we go. Another super. So again, let's try this out. Moving back, you got to stand right directly in it. Basically, just barely move your super. Ooh. See, I messed up. Sometimes you mess up. It's not 100% rate. Uh, it doesn't always work because sometimes you do mess up. I'm trying to figure out what makes it 100% rate. Um, but we're going to be able to get our super again. Let's try moving it again. Uh, again, standing right in it. Putting super as close to you as you can. And there we go. We're going to move through it. Now, it did go to the, to the left. I can't really control exactly the way it goes. I can sometimes, but... The first one you can't control as well. Now we might just be able to win this game actually. So I'm just going to chuck some shots forward. Um, let's see. We're able to get our super. We're not going to be able to win. So I'm just going to back up. Get super there by Steve. Maybe let's try putting this in the back left. So we're going to move back a little bit. That one only moved a little. Not a ton. Um, these guys should be able to win this round. There we go. Gonna get my super again. Actually, we are probably gonna take the W here. So we should be fine. Gonna move it again just for fun. Moving it a little bit more to the left. But I think we are fine. I do think we're gonna be able to get this victory either way. Doesn't really matter. So we're gonna move up over here and just end this game. And then obviously we're gonna hop into the next game. We're gonna show you guys um, this strat again. And hopefully we can move it as far as we humanly can. So let's hop into the next game and let's show you guys. All right, so here we go into our fourth game here. We're gonna be facing double tank. So again, it should be a lot easier to move this because we're going to get our shots off way easier. Our shots hit way easier. So let's move up over here. One, two, and there we go. We already have our super. So we're going to back up. Try and move this. Stand right in it. Super. Oh, that was a really good move. We moved that down and to the right. So that was really good. Um, dynamite over here. Obviously very scary. A lot of damage. Trying to just damage this Rosa over here gonna be able to get our super again so we're just gonna back up and get in move it a little bit more to the right there we go now this guy's moving in this mic's probably super confused at what's going on here but to be honest they do have a lot of damage coming so this is kind of scary oh there we go good defense by steve this frank's coming really far he's probably really confused about what's happening he's gonna go down I'm gonna try and move this again oh we didn't hit it there that's a shame. So we do have to win this bot. So I am going to have to move forward and play a little bit more aggressively here. Again, you don't want to just waste your entire game using supers on that. If you don't, if you need to get a bot, you have to try your hardest um, to just play normally and not do what I'm showing you guys. Uh, but there we go. We're going to be able to get a kill. Should be able to kill that dino. We are going to be able to run, 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 run. Okay, I'm not able to get the siege uh, bolt, but we are able to run a fair amount. Now, unfortunately, this is a pretty scary part because we do have a bot coming here. So we're going to move this a little bit. Oh, which is actually going to snipe the Rosa. It's not going to take it out, but we're going to get a few snipes off. Uh, let's see if we can get this kill over here. We are going to be able to. We're going to try and stun. We're not going to be able to, and we're going to lose this game. So that's very unfortunate. We're going to take the L here. Let's play one more game. Let's see if we can move it as far as possible. But again, let's hop into it, and let's see what happens. 
All right, so here we go into our next game. So we're going to be going up against Jesse, Penny, and Sandy. So moving up. They have a lot of turrets, which this actually could be pretty useful for. So let's see how fast we can get super. Oh my god, two shots in. We're able to get super just like the last game. So again, stepping right onto the siege. Let's move it. That's a really big move right off the bat. So really good start for us. Uh, moving forward here. Oh, we're going to miss that. It's pretty easy to juke Sprout shots now, which is actually really cool. Um, that Supercell made Sprout really easy to juke. Um, but anyways, let's move up over here. Is there a Brawler in this bottom left? Oh, oh, that was their Sandy Super. I don't know why, but I thought it was ours. I thought it was blue. Anyways, we're going to have an attack here. We're probably going to have to defend at some point in the game. So we do have to get Super and move our Siege over onto that left. Um, so let's see what we can get going on over here. Sandy pushing up, able to hit it twice, need one more hit, there we go, and we're going to push this Ike again, um, standing in the Ike, going to move it, there we go, a little bit only to the left, not too much, we might only have to defend here once, so that is what I'm expecting, um, so we don't have to move it too much, there we go, going to move it over to the left again, so we do already have four bolts, so going to the next round, oh, here we go. We already have six going to the next round, so we should be fine as long as we can defend right here. Um, this penny has no clue what's happening, so this is one of the big advantages, just easily getting sniped. Um, that penny turret is not going to be safe, easily getting sniped, and that is the big advantage. Um, it's pretty crazy if you ask me, but people have no clue about it, so they get caught off guard like that. And they're just going to lose the game like that as we're now just going to walk up and get some bolts. Uh, super easy. They did waste their attack because of it, unfortunately. Actually, we might not win. Depends what happens here. There we go. Fudge is able to get the kill. I think we have one bolt. Yeah, we're fine. Never mind. So we're just going to take some shots at that Jesse. But at this point, this lock, is, this game is a lock. There's no way that they can do damage to us. As they can't even sneak up on the left side. As our Ike is just going to mur <laughs> murder them, literally. Um, so yeah, that looks like it's going to be the game. We're going to eat some grass over here. But this is looking like it's going to be the final push and this is going to be the last part of the video so anyways i hope you guys did enjoy this kind of really broken strat with sprout i mean it literally broken when i say broken but that is going to be it for us today i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did obviously leave a like subscribe do everything comment let me know what you guys think about the video i love showing you guys strategies and like little glitches like these because i feel like we pick up on it way faster than the other channels so we're going to get it out to you guys as fast as possible as always but anyways it's going to be for me today i will catch you guys again later tomorrow i will see you guys then peace